uh, up to this point questions? Um, so I'll ask my question. How does Pinker's description of human language differ from Hatter's? Yes, Cynthia? Okay, uh, well, so, so that's, that's another piece of what they're saying. The warrants were actually a little bit different. Um, so so, so part, uh, Pinker is arguing that language is a specific skill, right? Um, and his warrant for that is um, when, you, when you look at language, it, um, it looks like something that's similar to other specific skills that are uh, developed from other creatures, right? So, you know, so what, what you get is this idea um, that language exists as an add-on, right? So that's, that's what I'm indicating as the warrant, right? Uh, and it doesn't change the basic way in which humans relate to themselves and the environment, right? Whereas for Hatter, the warrant is here where he's saying that language is inseparable from human reason and the way that humans relate to their environment, right? Uh, or to themselves, and then through adapting themselves, linking to their environment, right? So that's the key warrant that leads them to their, to their different claims, right? Even though they're looking at the same evidence, right? Um, so, so, that, so I've answered that second question, how do Pinker and Herder read the same evidence in different ways to arrive at their different claims, right? So they're, you know, they're looking at this comparison of language with specific skills and you know Hatter sees this huge difference and Pinker just sees them as very similar, right? Why does the idea of a specific language instinct lead to the theories of origin of language that postulate a sudden and unprecedented change? So uh, I'll just answer that right now. So, um, if you if you're thinking that language is a specific instinct in the brain, a specific module in the brain, then and you don't really have an account of what it looks like or what you know how it functions, right? Then you just have to say, well, it just appeared some like one day, right? And that's that's what you get with a lot of these theories is that this module just appears, maybe as a freak mutation. Um, if you want to argue that it developed through natural selection, um, it's hard to argue that it just went from zero to nothing, right? It's from zero to full language, right? And that's kind of the, the difficulty um, with this language module theory.